I don't have to introduce most of you to John Candy. You probably know his brilliant, funny work from television, in films, or on the stage. But the John Candy we're about to meet, you may not know. Why? Because we met him at his home. And he wasn't dying to make us laugh. He was just relaxing with his family and reflecting on what has been so far an amazing career. We're here in what's kind of a retreat for you, a place which I imagine you don't see that often. Do you have any idea how, how big a star you are in your hometown? Uh, no. Do you know that when you appear on screen in Stripes, I've been told that people cheer? They say, there's John Candy, our hero. <laughs> That's nice to hear. Does any, nice. Is any of that sinking in, or is it just weird? It's very, it's very weird, you know. Uh, it's hard to relate to. Yeah, I still have to change the kitty litter every night, <laughs> every three days. A week, okay, once a week I change the kitty litter. Um, no, it's, it's hard. This is the house, you know, this is my home. I feel comfortable here. I like New York, um, but New York drives me crazy. It's just so, especially, I go crazy there. I like it. <laughs> it's too much of a good thing. There's everything. John Belushi said uh, when he, he was trying to convince me to do Saturday Night Live, and he said, uh, and he played Frank Sinatra's New York, New York. And he said, look, this is, New York is Rome. <laughs> this is Rome. Everything is, uh, everything is in New York. And he's right, I guess, in a way. I just like the suburbs of Rome, I guess. John's suburb of Rome is a pleasant home in rural Ontario, a quiet place with a barn and pond, and he can relax there. Over there, that's where the Martians landed. And then they left this water. I, I don't drink it. Now, of all the characters that you've made, I suppose the one that's most had its impression on me is Johnny LaRue, and I don't think I'm alone in that. Kids love LaRue, you know, because he's such a sleaze. You know, he's a loudmouth, pompous idiot. <laughs> he's always getting in trouble, and his shady connections with the mob. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's an interesting character. And you're proud of what you do? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very proud of what I do. I'm very proud of the show. I'm very proud of Second City. Now people are going to see me and go, oh, that's all he does. This is how I think of ideas. Uh, I'll sit out here for maybe 14 hours and uh, try to think of something. This is very difficult. Uh, I usually don't think of anything out here. How are you as a husband? As a husband? Geez, real bad, I guess, because I'm hardly here. I'm an actor. And your father. Yeah, that's great. There's my daughter over there, Jennifer, which is the best thing that ever happened to me. So success hasn't... hasn't changed you it's a corny question but uh, do you feel it has I guess in a way maybe it has a little bit sure you know my attitudes are I'm a little more cynical I think now uh, than I was before and that's bad I'm trying to change that what's it like to go out to trying to be funny when you just when you feel terrible when you feel cynical when oh, you feel well, working with this group it's real easy it's, it's very easy I mean, I ever, if you're down somebody will pick you up and if they're down you try to pick them up it's really good it's a good group and it's the best television I've worked on, and the people I just respect so much. I really respect everyone's talent on the show. You're lucky, in, in a way, do you figure to have found this to do, John, you think? Oh, God, I wouldn't know what I'd be doing if it wasn't this. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just so fortunate. I really am so fortunate. And what does your own family feel about having a famous son? It's hard on them. You know, it's, it's hard in a way. I'm sure they like it in a way, but it's, it's hard. Uh, my brother, I think, doesn't like it that much. Uh, it's always, uh, you're John's brother. He's my older brother, too, so that's, that's even worse on an older brother. 
Um, I feel terrible about that, but not much you can do, really. Walking with John through his property, the pressures of being a television and movie star seem far removed. He grew up around here, and owning a place like this has always been a dream for him. The time that John Candy gets to spend here is precious. He's on the road at least five months of the year. Here, he spends that valuable time with his wife, Rose, and his daughter, Jennifer. He has the time to enjoy the fruits of his success, and sometimes he reflects on what it was that got him where he is now. Second City really did it for me, you know. Uh, I was working in Toronto doing commercials, uh, underground theater, and good underground theater. I was in the production of Creeps. Second City just, uh, I really grew up when I went there in a lot of ways. I, uh, I learned what, what life was like. I was my first time away from home, really, and away from the city, from the womb. And it was Chicago, you know. Bars were open till 5 in the morning. It was good times. I was meeting all sorts of interesting people. Uh, and I was learning my craft, which I never understood at that point. I'm just now understanding what I was learning then. A lot of temptations down there, too. Oh, sure there was. Sure there was. And I exploited all of them. <laughs> it was fun. It was great. I had a great time. I really learned a lot. So success hasn't spoiled John Candy? Uh, well, if this is spoiled, yeah, I guess I am.